through the Eastern Africa Agricultural Productivity Program, or EAP, tens of thousands of small-scale farmers are receiving the training and resources needed to increase the production of rice, cassava, wheat, and milk. The region's most commonly consumed foods and several of the most vital commodities in the fight against hunger. With support from the government of Tanzania, Maria and other rice farmers in the last two years has doubled and in some cases more than tripled yields. <laughs> Lakini baada ya kuja wataalamu wakatufundisha nilipata magunia mengi ambayo nilipata gunia 35. Gunia 30 hiyo baada ya kuziuza nilinunua abati, nikanunua ambao nyumba nilikuwa nimeshafia tu atofali. Baadaye nikaanza kujenga ndio nyumba hii inayoonekana hapa sababu ya kilimo cha mwangaji. Ninaendelea kusomesha wanangu katika shule za sekondari za kulipia na wengine wakiwa bado wadogo wadogo wako shule za msingi To productively farm this land Maria and her fellow farmers are learning better rice farming techniques and have worked with researchers to identify improved varieties of the grain Sasa mwanzoni sisi tulikuwa tukilima kiolela tukiwa tunatumia maji mengi lakini mavuno yetu yalikuwa ni hafifu baada ya wataalamu hao kuja wakatufundisha utaalamu mzuri e, jinsi ya kupanda kwa mistari hali kadhalika matumizi mbalimbali ya mbolea Across the Lake Victoria region in Uganda as in other parts of Africa cassava is one of the most popular crops but cassava brown streak disease has been a major threat to the food supply and has caused many smallholder farmers to lose an essential source of income. Cassava as a crop is de being devastated by cassava brown streak disease. And so we are sure that once we have gotten these plantlets that are disease free, then we can actually distribute them. An essential aspect of improving agriculture is to provide farmers with new technologies that are suited and adapted to local conditions and can better withstand crop diseases and the effects of a changing climate. The first attribute that I see with it is it is high yielding and it's a fast growing variety. Then number 2, uh, it is uh, resistant to diseases and pests. But November normally is a very dry period. But this cassava managed to resist the harsh weather and it managed to make it where it is right now. In Ethiopia, agricultural research centers have created several wheat varieties that are resistant to the plant diseases that have decimated many farmers' crops. In 2010, both of the varieties are susceptible to yellow rust, so there was 100% yield loss. But Nowadays, more than 10 varieties uh, you can see uh, in the farmer's field, so the distribution of the rest is uh, reduced. In Kenya, the Eastern Africa program is working with animal breeders to supply healthy, productive dairy cows and improve insemination practices that raise the overall quality and productivity of livestock. Also, a healthy mix of animal feed that uses various types of fodder and protein-rich crop residues has greatly contributed to increased production of milk, putting more money in smallholder farmers' pockets. We have more uh, fiends, then that translates to more milk. Our farms are green because of the manure. The year people have trained us how to plant good quality of Nepian grass. 
They have also trained us how to balance the foods so the animals are healthy. Okay. To succeed, we have to do it as a business and also commercialize agriculture because that is the way forward for us to meet our domestic demand and also export. With funding and other support from the World Bank, investment in the agriculture sector is producing returns upwards of 40 to 60 percent, creating jobs throughout the region and transforming the lives of farmers and other small agribusiness owners. Farmers will graduate from being subsistent to becoming semi-commercial, and some will be commercial farmers. And like having a national program, the regional program, we have that age of many researchers, many institutions, both public and private, come together and work together for a common goal.